What's up you guys? Back in the countryside, in the beautiful countryside. Beautiful day, sunny day, although it's February, so welcome February. Uh, hope that you're doing well. And uh, I'm next to one of the trees, most famous trees basically that you find in the countryside here in Malta. This is, this produces the fruit, okay, of prickly pears. It's not the season, okay, so don't expect that uh, you see me picking one of these uh, which you can't with bare hands, obviously. Uh, but uh, this is something that you'll see on many, many um, countryside all over the country, even in, in Gozo and also in Camino. And uh, it makes a great fruit. This is a great fruit that you can buy the liqueur. I think I talked about this on one of my other videos. But I wanted to start this video while we're moving ahead to. Uh, a place that I wanted to share with you, a place that uh, has another chapel, okay? Another chapel that uh, I really wanted to to share with you because on my last video, okay, I said that I'm gonna go and shoot a video and there's no better than this beautiful day. Yes, it's windy. Guess what? It's a bit windy, but as you can see, this is February in Malta, guys. I mean, take a look at this. This is what you're gonna see and it's February can you believe it in some countries in uh, Europe north of Europe are all covered all covered with snow which is cool but here all you see is green on this side okay <laughs> on this side uh, since we are in the countryside all you see is green uh, yes we had we had some uh, some rain uh, but again it just for few moments and then it's back to this, okay? It's back to this uh, sunny weather. So, as, th as we always say, it's 360 uh, days out of the 365 is sunny, and uh, it's like this. So, uh, this is the reality, okay? The streets and the roads in the countryside of Malta, we're giving it to you. So, we're heading to a place, it's a chapel of Saint Jacob. So, it's a, it's a chapel, and we're gonna go and uh, check it out, we're gonna go and explore nearby see if uh, they open it uh, last on my last video someone uh, commented it would have been nice to film inside i agree with uh, this gentleman but most of these chapels guys they either open a um, few times in the air during the year maybe it's because of the feast of uh, of the village or maybe it's for a for a special occasion or it could be also for a wedding because one one of my cousins uh, has been uh, when when she did she did the uh, the wedding wedding ceremony uh, we're Christians here so she uh, did the uh, the ceremony in a chapel small chapel in Tarshien which is a nearby nearby uh, uh, village one of the oldest villages uh, which uh, I have plans to go and uh, and visit for visit and film for you guys as well uh, but anyhow so uh, that was that, that's a chapel that's that's open every single time okay so I made it to, uh, to the road where uh, we needed to go but this is an interesting small tiny uh, you can call it narrow narrow street narrow road uh, between the Trihallo Ars this is called Trihallo Aya where uh, all the cars it's a very very uh, busy busy road towards the airport towards the other towns and villages over there and uh, we found we found uh, this okay this plague says that accessibility to agriculture holdings so uh, this was between 2007 and 2013 so development so there's kind of development uh, in this rural area so i uh, met some cats as well took some pictures of those cats but as you can see this is how it's lo how it looks like when it comes to ruler areas some people are developing businesses or developing houses in the countryside uh, but that's how it is you know so this is the main road there's more picnic fields in here check it out let me put in the mask because now some people also 
uh, walking by and I want to be respectful. Check it out, this Luma. Okay, and in here, this is Lua. This so, uh, the way to go to Lua. There's a pump station over there. And what I need to do is I need to go back to this side. Okay, that's where the Saint Jacob Chapel is. I hope that you can hear me. There's a lot of noise, obviously, cars passing by, passing through. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like, uh, ruler area. This is a nice place. So let's go to the uh, St. Jacob Chapel, which is right there. I was telling you about it. Check it out. We made it. As you can see, it's on the road, pretty much. Check it out. I don't know if it, uh, if it says when they uh, open it, but check it out. So there's St. Peter's. These are the set of St. Peter's and that St. Paul, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you know. Because I cannot see them from here. <laughs> Check it out. So this should be Saint Paul. Saint Peter. Alright, so let's check out what's in here. So this is like a way entering the countryside. This is how big it is. It's very small, right? It's very, very small. As you can see, it's a very small, uh, it's a very small uh, chapel, which is on the road, literally on the road. And this is a 15. It was built in 1550, so 16th century building. Once again, uh, I hope it's still. They still open it. There's no signs. This is the thing, guys. Let me remove my mask. So th this is th this is the thing. There's no signs. I, I wish that they can put sign when they open, uh, if they open, if they still open. I think this one, they, they uh, sometimes they open it. I'm not sure. Okay, if you know, if you if you know more information, uh, hit me up or let me know in the comments below, because that could be something interesting. You know that there's uh, the dates or the date when they open it when they open it so you can go inside and film and maybe go inside and uh, pray or, or or take pictures or listening to the mass whatever it is because these are you know the jewels uh, in the country this like i said it's plenty of these chapels all over malta all over gozo and uh, this is just one of them in this kind of strange position right this is the biggest, this is the new road that they did. Uh, this was open like a month or two months ago. Uh, the big infrastructure project, over 80 million uh, uh, euros. And uh, this is just off this road, okay? Uh, which plenty of cars has been passing by all these years. And people, I think people like me, like myself, I live nearby, they just wonder what the heck with this chapel. When it's open, if they can go and stop, you know, on their way back home from work, they can stop. There's, I can stop with the car also here. Anyway, guys, that's it from uh, this side of the world, from this location. I hope you enjoyed this video, short video this time. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about uh, this, me, for me, roaming, roaming around Malta, roaming around this place while uh, we're here. And this was the Chapel of St. Jacob with two statues of St. Peter's and St. Paul again on this busy road as you can see behind me. Take care guys and I see you on the next video. Peace!